Hi, it's Carol Jonas Morrison here. I want to give you my specific recommendations for what I think you should do to be successful in this class. Now, these recommendations are based on a lot of experience, but also on scientific uh, studies that show what's the best way for students to learn math. And this is based in how your brain learns. So to be very, very brief, to learn math, you need to space out your learning over time. So you should try to do a little bit every day. Your brain actually uh, creates connections when it learns. And when you go to sleep every night, it washes connections that are not frequently used away. So in order to build really good learning, and the really strong pathways in your brain, which represent really good learning. You need to spread that learning out over time. It does not work to cram at the last minute. Now you might feel like it works and there's a, a particularly human frailty that makes us feel like we, we are gonna do well if we cram. Our brain also really likes familiarity. Uh, we can see that when we do these experimental tests, we can put a way to measure uh, the stress response on people. You can see the galvanetic skin, skin response, a little bit of perspiration, a little bit of heart rate goes up. And if someone walks around in their own home, they're very comfortable, just put them in someone else's home, not really a threatening situation at all. And you see a tiny bit of a stress response. So we like familiarity. So when you cram, what you're actually doing is you're f making your brain familiar with the information, but you're not sleeping overnight on it or giving it time to grow the really good connections. So your brain looks at the problem, feels like it's familiar, feels like it knows how to do it. But when you face with the test time, maybe you do and maybe you don't, probably more likely that you don't. So it's very good science that you need to learn and spread out your learning over time. Now I want to suggest how you do this in particular in this class. Your first step in learning the material is to watch the lecture video. In PPCC Online Campus, go to Learning Modules, click on the chapter you want, and click on the video lecture that you want to listen to. You'll have to click on this play button in order for the video to play you probably want to take notes as you do this. Your next step is to read the textbook over that material. As the textbook goes through examples, for here we can see example one, after the example, you are re requested to now try a particular exercise in that section of the book. I want to see you do every one of these now try exercise, whatever it is, X. That will help you learn the material. Don't try to do the homework until you've listened to the lecture and taken notes and read the book and tried all the exercises that go with the exam. When you're in my math lab, I want you to notice that my math lab gives you a lot of information. It's asking you to do a specific problem it's telling you how many points the homework is out of, which homework it is, and this refers to Chapter 1, Section 1, Problem 33 in your textbook. There's help available for your homework questions, so I want you to click on Question Help, and if you are having trouble doing this, then you want to click on View an Example and read through everything in the View an Example. You may have to hit Continue and you can see how many parts are remaining yet for you to do this. Okay, so there's help available in my math lab. Keep detailed notes on lectures, detailed notes on all the now try exercises, keep detailed notes as you're doing your homework, and also take notes when you're doing your online tests. You'll have to submit them later.